Get mantra and meditation MP3s at jasongallant.ca. One challenge that hits many spiritual aspirants is that they try to achieve sainthood. They try to be some sort of spiritual ideal of some sort. And they miss the mechanics that are right before them, the, the mechanisms that allow one to fall into fulfillment and also authenticity. So where some people make a mistake and, and sometimes there's many spiritual teachers that get gaslit by students, is that people have this idea that when you are in some sort of higher state of consciousness or enlightenment that there are no feelings. One just walks around like a lobotomized zombie in perpetual bliss and this can happen. I'm not saying it can't happen, but it's not necessarily required. There are all sorts of stories about gurus that were just hard to deal with, right? So. What I'm going to say to you is that a better place to start when you are suffering or experiencing unpleasantness is just ask yourself, is there something that you're contributing to that experience that you can let go of? It's okay to feel the way you feel. It's okay to have all sorts of sensations running through you. That doesn't mean you're less enlightened or more enlightened or whatever. I mean, just let all that stuff go. Let all this game of shoulds go. And just ask yourself, is there some story about you that you believe that is also creating suffering? This is incredibly powerful. Because when you're no longer working against yourself or against the experience of here, now you can be totally sober with what is happening. And yeah, the game of pain and pleasure is a part of life. And dancing with that and making decisions based on wisdom is, is part of the whole game. But this spiritual path is about realizing how you may be using your mind to torture yourself unnecessarily. It's like riding in a battle and then stabbing yourself in the back. <laughs> right? Now you've got two enemies to face, not just, not just the horde of, you know, you know, army people in front of you or whatever, you know, whatever it is, you know. So asking yourself this simple question, about what part of your story of identification can you let go of in this moment? Th this will free you just asking this question. So when you meditate, you may be feeling all sorts of things. And some of those things are very relevant and just proving that you're not insane. <laughs> you're really just experiencing everything here. But some of those things are created by you. And this is where we start to delve deeper in this path called spirituality and enlightenment. You'll see that there are probably stubborn parts within you that hold on to the suffering or choose to see life a certain way, even though it's creating pain within you. And like I said, sometimes, and I say this to some of the Wisdom Life School students, sometimes a lazy person, as much as they can be frustrating, sometimes they're good spiritual students because they realize how much work it takes to maintain suffering. <laughs> I've always said I'm, I'm too lazy to maintain it. If I have to maintain a story and then I'm feeling all this 
anarchy and, and everything around it, I, I just let it go. Just, just let the story go. This is how you free yourself from the story of you and fall into the natural you. And the natural you will still have experiences and feelings, but they will be more relevant with this moment and not filled and filtered based on past experiences or worries that take you to the future. There's an in the moment dance Just like if somebody hits me in the knee with a stick, I'm like, ow. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm not living my life based on the next time I get hit with a stick. <laughs> What's the advantage of this? Because that's the first question I would ask if I was you. <laughs> well, your experience of life evolves to a higher level of unconditional happiness. Happiness and fulfillment that can even exist at the same time as pain. And this spacious fulfillment not only takes the edge off much of the pain of life, it also allows a flow of wisdom from the true self. Sudden inspirations and solutions come seemingly out of nowhere sometimes to, to be the restorative balm to your problems. There's this mystical, infinite possibility that comes through you that emerges from seemingly nowhere, which assists you with moving forward in whatever direction is needed at that time. But this does not come from the mind. It comes from the truest you. Sometimes there's no solution at all except for just deepening your experience of this moment. And even though nothing externally would change, your experience is fulfilled. So often, things externally need to change because you feel they need to change. But if what you're experiencing changes, then so often the external does not need to change. So start first with cleaning up your contribution to your suffering. and see what wonderful possibilities come from that. I hope this helps you on your spiritual journey. Take care for now. Are you interested in working with a spiritual teacher in a formal setting? Well, perhaps the Wisdom Life School is for you. If you're interested in checking out what the Wisdom Life School is all about, just go to aratima.com.